Hey there, this is Unmesh. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a great time and making it an awesome day. So today I'm going to show you a seriously amazing trick of adding a color punch to your photos in Photoshop. And by the way, before we begin, if you're wondering where am I and why am I not showing up in the videos? Well, I'm not at home. Last week I was in Photoshop world and I'm still stuck there and I'm stuck. I cannot go back. Well, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Anyway, till then, I'm going to be recording videos on the fly on the way. So this is one of them. All right. So all you have to do, let's have a look at this photo. I am not a big fan of the colors over here. What if we could have the colors of this photo in this photo? How to do that? Very easy. Make sure both of them are open or even if one of them is open, all you have to do, just drag this and drop it over that. That's all you need to do. Let's zoom out quite a bit and press Ctrl or Command T to open up the transform controls. So just make it a little bigger. Doesn't matter now. You don't have to convert this into a smart object because we will be having to make some changes over there. All right, now simply go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Now increase it to a crazy amount, something like that. Yep, that is good where everything is seamless, but still you see the difference in the colors. Okay. All right, that is okay. Now once you're satisfied, hit okay. Now if you want to be able to change the values of Gaussian blur later, you might want to convert this into a smart object, but I'm not going to do that because I'm a little confident here. So let's change the blend mode of this one to soft light. Have a look at this. Or maybe let's go for overlay. Interesting, isn't it? Now you can change the blend mode to whatever you like. Maybe screen. Screen is a really wonderful effect. So I'm going to go for overlay. And it's not looking very nice yet. But have a look. I can choose the move tool and move around to see what looks good. Now, if I take it up, it begins to look very interesting. So what we can do, maybe keep it up there and use the rectangular marquee tool, select this area of this layer, press Ctrl or Command T again and stretch it. It's already blurred, doesn't even matter. Control or Command D to let go of the marching ends. And there we go. You can change the blend mode. You can move it all around if you want to. Do whatever you want. At this point, I think I should take it down. Or maybe I think the clouds shouldn't have that tint. Have a look at the before and after. So here's the before, here's the after. Everything looks good, but the clouds over here at the top. So let's go ahead and create a mask. Take the brush, make sure the brush is big enough. Make sure the foreground color is black and simply paint at the top, just like that. There we go. And change the color to white and maybe we missed a little bit over there. Okay. And we are done. We are good to go. So there you go. That's how you can very easily add a color punch to your photos. Just find the photo of which the color you like and just find a photo. I mean, that's going to be your photo where you want to add the color punch and just add it on top of it, blur it, change the blend mode and you're good to go. You can move it if you want to, you can stretch it if you want to, do whatever you want, add masks, go crazy and there you go. Hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.